Hi, I'm Ilkay Bora and welcome to my tutorial series Lightning Sibelius. Today I'm going to introduce a fantastic plugin called Graphical MIDI Tools, which allows you to use a MIDI piano roll inside Sibelius. With this plugin, you can tweak your score and achieve better playback and make fine adjustments to enhance the overall playback performance. The best part is that it is 100% compatible with Note Performer. This means you can experience truly amazing playback quality with this combination. Alright, first let's hear an example which I done exclusively using Sibelius, Note Performer and Graphical MIDI tools. After that we can delve deeper into exploring the functionalities of this tool. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you like my tutorials and if you want to support my channel, you can also donate it via the PayPal link in the description. Santiago Barks, the programmer behind this incredibly useful tool, continues to bring forth useful and efficient updates for GMT. Let me show you its user interface first and then I'll demonstrate how to install it. Alright, I simply make a selection and press its assigned shortcut, which for me is the letter O, and voila! If you have ever used a DAW like Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, etc., you will find the piano roll interface familiar. Before we delve into the details of what you can do with graphical MIDI tools, let's begin by downloading it. To download the software, please visit its website, which you can find the link in the description, and navigate to the download section. Once you have completed your purchase, you will receive a license number via email. Download the software and proceed to close Sibelius if it's currently open. Run the installer for graphical MIDI tools and it will quickly install the software. Click on the close button once the installation is complete. Now, reopen Sibelius, go to File, then Preferences and select Keyboard Shortcuts. Look for the graphical MIDI tools in the list and assign it a one key shortcut. You can choose from one of the following shortcuts, U, O, V or J. These shortcuts are not typically assigned by default. Feel free to select the one that suits your preference. Note, the shortcut J is often used for guitar band, but it's up to you if you commonly use that function. Once you have assigned the shortcut, you are ready to explore the powerful features of graphical MIDI tools. Make your selection and hit the shortcut. When you run the plugin for the first time, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to test out your shortcut key. Follow the instructions in the pop-up to ensure that your shortcut key is functioning correctly. Once you have completed the test successfully, click the OK button to close the pop-up window. Alright, it's a very simple plugin to use. Make your selection and hit the assigned key and the user interface will pop up. In this panel, your notes are represented as MIDI sticks and you can easily change their durations by selecting them and shortening or lengthening their lengths. As you can see, your score will remain the same, but the playback will be modified. Before we delve into the automation panel in depth, let me show you some more cool features here. You can toggle the snap option on or off from this panel. When you move the starting or ending points of your MIDI notes, they will automatically snap to the grid lines. Additionally, the plugin supports multiple monitor usage which is why I always keep it on my second monitor. You can always make multiple selections for the plugin, but Santiago Barks advises to not choosing more than four instruments at a time. Personally, I prefer to work with one instrument at a time. The plugin offers a natural zoom and navigation feature that mirrors the shortcuts you use in Sibelius. By using familiar shortcuts, you can easily navigate within the plugin. For example, Holding the shift key and scrolling the mouse wheel up or down will move the view horizontally just like in Sibelius. Similarly, using the Ctrl key along with the scrolling the mouse wheel up and down will allow you to zoom in and out. You can open the lower zone panel for velocity adjustments. To cancel what you have written, use the right click of your mouse to erase it. Clicking the X button will turn the lower zone into the expression panel, allowing you to easily add more expression to your score with just a few clicks. Please note that this panel overrides the written dynamics of the score for Note Performer 4. 
Node Performer will read this newly written information instead of your written dynamics. You can also configure and add more automation panels by clicking on CFG button. When creating automation, if you hold the shift button, you will be able to draw very smooth automation curves. This feature is particularly useful for making precise playback adjustments. And if you click on the numbers above the dots after creating an automation, you will be able to enter a specific value and meanwhile you can also change the line style of the automation between ramp and jump. Alright, as the last thing, we have a super cool feature that is very useful when you want to have playback but don't want to show it on the score, such as cross staff glissandos. In this example, I have written a glissando but I can't have playback because Sibelius doesn't offer a native playback between grand staves. However, there is a workaround, all I need to do is turn on the grid option and click on the score to write phantom notes. When I hit the play button, I will hear the glissando playback. Now, for me personally, the most crucial aspect of this plugin is about to be introduced, the time module. This module alone justifies investing in this plugin. You can access the time module by simply clicking on this button. It offers incredibly useful and intuitive features. For instance, visually adjusting various options to enlarge the panel or toggling for a more focused view. The first noteworthy feature within the time module is the snap option. This allows for precise node placement, enhancing your workflow efficiency. Similar to other media automation options, you can further refine entries by holding down the shift button. Additionally, the type button permits switching between the dot entries, ramps and step options, ensuring flexibility tailored to your needs. My personal favorite feature here is undoubtedly the chump option and here is why. To my knowledge, even the most sophisticated existing DAWs lack this functionality. It proves invaluable for executing nuanced retardandos, infusing playback with heightened expressivity and realism. When activated, the chump option ensures that you design always and precisely at your existing metronome mark, safeguarding the integrity of your timing. This prevents any loss of synchronization while incorporating retardandos or ralentandos. Let's listen a comparison of the playback before and after utilizing this feature. And here comes one of the best parts of this plugin after you have made all your tweaks if you export your score as MIDI and import it to your favorite DAW you will see that all your MIDI adjustments are imported as well. This allows you to continue working seamlessly within your DAW. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel and click on the top sub button below. If you want to support my channel, you can donate it via the PayPal link in the description. See you soon in another mind-blowing Lightning Sibelius chapter.